Hi, and welcome to Tech Deals. Today have I got a deal for you. I have got what I think is the very best value in the entire PC world today. I am shooting this video in March of 2016, and if you are looking right now for a desktop computer that is a screaming deal that gives you tons of performance for just a little bit of money and tons of capabilities, features, and options for just a little bit of money, stop. You just found it. I'm serious. This thing is awesome. I cannot tell you how excited about this machine I am. It has so much ability, features, options for so little money. I love this deal. I really, really do. Now, I'm going to put a link in the video description below so you can go to Amazon and see this machine, but let me really quickly talk about who should buy this machine. Who is this for? Who would I recommend to family and friends and you, my YouTube viewers, buy this machine? Are you somebody who wants to use the internet, use Skype, use Facebook, you want to uh, play casual games, you want to run Microsoft Office or some other Office program, you want to do your taxes, you want to do some accounting, you want to basically run any Windows program or Windows app. This will do that. Maybe you've got a, a video collection, a photo collection, you just went on a vacation and you've got a bunch of videos from your iPhone or Android or your, or your video camera and you want to edit them. This will do that too. This will do video editing. This will do picture editing. This will do uh, games. This will do... It is so amazing what a good deal this machine really is. Maybe you're an office worker. Maybe you need some machines for your front desk or your standard uh, uh, office workers. Maybe the, uh, the back office needs a machine, or perhaps the CEO, the boss needs a machine. You know what? Put this under his desk. He'll be impressed. It's a great machine. For $450, you get so much for your money. Really quickly, let's talk about performance. This has got the latest and greatest sixth generation Intel Skylake processor. It's an i5-6400. What the heck does that mean, you ask? Well, it has four processing execution cores. This is a good thing. Most computers sold today still only have two cores. This has four of them. No mainstream computer really has more than four. Um, and this has fast cores. These are, these are not, just, not just four any cores, they're four fast ones. This chip was released in September of last year. This thing is less than a year old. It's the current, most recent thing Intel makes. It's great and wonderful. If you have a machine that is more than three years old, you should notice a difference upgrading to this machine. Even more so if it's older. If you bought something in, say, five years ago in 2011, you're on what's called a Sandy Bridge uh, chip, most likely a 2000 series chip from Intel. What does all that mean? Now, don't worry about it. But if you bought your machine in 2011, that's roughly what you're on. This is four processor generations newer than that. It may very well be double the performance, depending on what you're doing, to a five-year-old machine. If you go back even further, if you go back to 08, 09, Oh my lord, upgrade, it's time. They really have changed, you'll be impressed. This comes with Windows 10, which is of course the latest and greatest version of Windows from Microsoft. I use it, I like it, I recommend it, uh, it works perfectly. I have booted this up, I have run stuff on it, it works flawlessly, it is fast. Now that's performance. Let's talk about features for a minute. What do you get for $450? It's a long list of features. First of all, you get eight gigabytes of system RAM. A lot of machines at this price point only come with four, which I no longer recommend at all for anyone. Eight is really good for most users. If you want to open up five or six uh, browser tabs in your browser, you want to open up uh, Skype, you want to open up a, a game, uh, maybe you want to play a game in a window, you want to have Microsoft Office running, and you want to do all of that at the same time, this will do it. Eight gigabytes is enough for that for most people. Storage, it has one terabyte of storage space in, on the hard drive inside. This is enough for most people. This will store a reasonable amount of video and photos and games and apps and programs. M most of the people watching this, can probably use this machine without ever touching the storage with one terabyte. It's not the biggest drive in the world, but it's plenty for most people. Let's talk about Wi-Fi. Now, it does have wired Ethernet in the back. If you are in a location where you have access to physical Ethernet cables to network cables, it certainly has a gigabit Ethernet port in the back. It works great. But if you don't, not a problem. A lot of desktop machines at this price point don't include Wi-Fi at all or they include older, cheaper Wi-Fi that's slow. This does not. This includes the brand new AC Wi-Fi. 
What is AC Wi-Fi? All you really need to know is it's the latest and greatest, fastest Wi-Fi that exists on the market. N is the, so, is the older, slower one. So if you see a machine with N Wi-Fi, it's slower. AC is the best. It's twice as fast as the old one. You can get nothing better. It's got a nice Wi-Fi chip on here. So this will connect to any router or hotspot that you may have available to connect to the internet. That's built right in, no problem. What else does it have? It has got a DVD drive in the front. This will read and write CDs and DVDs. Not everybody still uses CDs and DVDs, but it's nice to have, and it's nice to have a burner so you can burn an audio CD to take with you if by chance you need to, or burn home movies onto DVD if you want to. It has got a five-in-one memory card reader. Maybe you've got a, a, a digital video camera or a uh, um, digital picture camera that uses memory cards. This will read five different types of memory cards. So you just take out the memory card, stick it in the machine, and off you go. There's a headphone and microphone jack in the front if you want to plug in a headphone or um, microphone. It's also got two USB 3.0 ports in the front. So if you've got a USB 3 flash drive, uh, thumb drive for example, it will read those as well. Now what is USB 3? USB 3 um, has been out for a couple of years now. A lot, of, a lot of computers still only have a couple of them. It's 10 times faster than the older USB 2. It's really, really quick. The other thing you can plug in here is an external hard drive, and there's also ports in the back as well. If the one terabyte of storage is not enough, if you're worried about running out of room for your pictures or videos, maybe you go on a lot of vacations, you take pictures of your family or friends or kids or whatever, and you want to add more space, you don't have to worry about opening it. You can buy an external USB 3 hard drive plug it into the port on the back or the front, and it will be just as fast as the internal storage. USB 3.0 has resolved this problem of, of a choice of fast internal storage or slow external storage. It will be just as fast as the internal storage, be really, really, really fast. You have got a total of four USB 3.0 uh, ports on the back and two on the front, so you have plenty of ports. Now. Um, let's talk about audio. This has HD multi-channel audio. So if you just have headphones or two speakers on your desk, no problem. There's a place to plug the speakers in in the back. If you have one of those fancy uh, 5.1 surround sound systems, not a problem. It's got all six plugs in the back to plug in a nice fancy uh, surround sound system with the woofer and the satellite speakers. It will absolutely handle that. Graphics. Let's talk about games for a minute. This has got the Intel HD 530 integrated graphics built into it. Now, that chip is absolutely totally enough for an awful lot of casual games. Minecraft, League of Legends, World of Tanks, um, older games like Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike will all play on the integrated graphics. Now, they won't play at 4K at you know ridiculous levels of resolution and detail. But you know what, if you have a standard 1080p monitor, a standard, uh, or you plug this into a TV, which you can do as well, they'll play well enough. Um, this will certainly play casual games. Let me put a caveat in here. If you like to play advanced games, if you like to play uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, um, Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, if you like to play those kinds of games, it will need an add-in graphics card. It doesn't come with a dedicated graphics card. But that's okay. That is the easiest thing to add to these things. I will put a link in the description to the card that I recommend that I have put in here and that I do, um, I know for a fact works. It is a NVIDIA GTX 960. They're about $180 on Amazon right now. And in fact, if I turn this machine around, you will see, if you look on the bottom, a standard monitor, if you don't do anything to this machine, you're going to plug the monitor into here. This is the HDMI port. You can either plug this into a standard high definition television, a flat screen TV, or you can plug this into a computer monitor uh, using the built in HDMI port. But if you upgrade the graphics because you want to play the latest and greatest games, this has enough CPU to play the latest and greatest games. All the new games that have just come out will play on this if you add a graphics card. It takes 15 minutes. I'll do a separate video showing. But if you look down here, this is the extra video card. This doesn't come with the machine I added this. Quite literally, you take the two screws off the side, you slide this slide panel off, you slide the card in, you screw one screw inside it to hold the card physically in it, 
you put the side panel back on, you take your HDMI cable from here, and you plug it in there, and you're done. That's all the hardware work. That, it's really not that hard, but I will do a separate video showing it. If you do that, you can play all the latest and greatest games if you want a, a gaming machine. Um, you can spend a lot of money on it. You can spend $1,500, go to some of the gaming PC websites, you can spend a lot of money. They might be 10 or 20% faster. They, uh, they're a little bit faster. Most people won't notice. And if you're playing at 1080p or you're playing on your high definition television, you won't notice the difference. Um, it's a great value. Less than 650 gets you a gaming machine. That's awesome. Um, other than games, this thing basically takes care of everything else you need to do. It'll do video editing, it'll do picture editing, it'll play casual games as it comes, or elite games if you add the video card. It will browse the web. You could have 15 browser tabs open. I mean, it's got lots of processing power, it's got lots of RAM, it's got lots of storage. I highly, highly recommend this machine. So, uh, with that being said, if you like this video, please like it. If you don't like this video, please don't like it. If you would leave me a comment in the description below, I'd appreciate it. If you have questions about this machine, by all means, please leave me a, a, a question in the comments below and I will answer them. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I certainly, uh, I certainly always love subscribers. Thank you very much. I will be doing many more of these videos as well as a video showing, for example, how to put the video card in and whatnot. Um, the link to the computer and the video card will be in the description below. I will also put a link, if you're going to put the video card in, you might as well add another 8 gigabytes of RAM because it's only $35 and if you're going to do all that, you might as well. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well and I'll show that when I do it. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you're going to play the latest and greatest games, you probably want to get 16. It's an extra $35, but it takes 30 seconds to put in and it's easy. There's an open slot for it. So I'll put a link for that as well. If you do decide to buy this machine, I would appreciate you using those links. They are affiliate links. I do get a small commission for referring you. Hopefully this video has been helpful in, making you, uh, in helping you make a decision what to buy. It doesn't change your price in any way. It's just a standard referral system that helps people like me do these videos. Um, anyway, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.